Zambezi came to be in a way because um, after I'd had um, some experience in retail as well, and I worked for a, uh, for a fabric importer, I kind of slowly educated myself around the industry and then worked for a really small workroom, um, Walter Hart, who was doing VAMP at the time. And um, Margie, actually, my sister, who was, we were in constant contact all the time, you know, clothes, shoes, whatever, um, was thinking about opening a retail store. And Neville had been, and his mates had been saying to me, you should be, you should open a store because you always look so different and you've got this kind of unique style. And I love making clothes. It's so stimulating and challenging and you always get the chance to kind of reinvent yourself a little bit. Every season, all the time, you know, you, you never feel like you've finished, you know, that you've done it and you can give up or sit back or something. I think looking back, um, it seems inevitable that I've ended up in the industry because um, growing up with a mother that was um, fascinated by clothes, she was a beautiful sewer, um, she made all our clothes, she taught us to sew, and we were, Margie and I and Vera were constantly going through her wardrobe, trying on her stuff, looking in her drawers. Um, so I think because she had a fascination for um, fashion, I think that's where the inspiration came from for me. My muse um, as a designer is the fabric. I've always been inspired by fabric, so fabric is the beginning of anything for me. I'm not conceptual um, at all, and I, I don't sketch up pictures and then or drawings and try and fit into that. The, the fabric inspires me, so my first step is always the fabric, and um, then I, I decide what to do with it. You know, everyone thinks it's just one person, like me, because I'm at the front of it, of the house, if you like, but actually it's more than that. It's a whole team, and I'd be nothing without them. And then there's our, you know, loyal following. I mean, over 40 years, we've built up an amazing following, you know, that, um, and sometimes it stays in the family. You know, the mother was a customer when we started, and now, you know, um, the sons and the daughters are customers and their friends and what, you know, it sort of it does trickle down, I think. Um, in a way, there's a kind of sense of ownership as well um, of the people that embrace the brand feel they do have some ownership of it, and I like that. It's, it's the way we feel about anything New Zealand, isn't it? Like, you know, you kind of feel like, yeah, very proud of that because it is New Zealand. I think one thing that comes to mind is Bruno. Um, when he was just a baby, he um, was rushed into hospital and um, he had to have a big op that, that pretty much saved his life, I think. Um, incredibly grateful to Starship um, um, for that. Originally, that graphic was for wrapping paper and postcards. And then, one day, we went, oh my God, let's do this on linen and it can be part of the summer collection. So, when you approached us about your charity, it kind of seemed like the obvious choice. And I could visualize it, because I, I can, I can visualize things, like I could just see it and thought that would be so cool, it'd be so great. And the fact that it's for Starship, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a big consideration. It was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. I think I'm grateful for the love that I'm surrounded with. I think I'm grateful for the opportunities I'm given um, to contribute. 
Um, I'm really grateful for my family, extended family as well. I think we all support one another and we're there for one another.